right, so that's Paradise Coombe down there. I came up through there. It's very wild, that bit, and that'll be very, very tickified. So at least I've identified... I'm just trying to... Today, I'm not going to go to Holford at all. I'm staying over this side. Uh, it's a possibility I might do Weakham. I'm just going to do a bit of exploring around here. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I remember this big avenue of trees, so I'm going to walk along them. So, all these, this field I'm in has got a name. Like I said, I walked up through Paradise Coombe last year. Um, yeah, I did. I think I did quite a big walk after I'd done that as well. That was not a I probably walked to Holford as well when I'd done that. I didn't know my knee bump playing up. Yeah, you can see these avenues of trees for miles, you know. I just thought I'd like to go down and walk along the edge of them. Just do a bit of exploring, really. Without going mad. Just getting to know the area more over this side. Yeah, I think the most I'll do is go down Wycombe. I haven't gone down that for a while, so... I think that'll suit me better today than going all the way over the other side. I need more time, because I did really want to do Dalesborough Hillfort, then come back through Holford, so I'm going to keep that for a longer a longer I'll do that another time. Yeah, I reckon this has got to be Paradise Coom in it. If not, it's the other avenue of trees. It's one of them. If it ain't this one, it's over there. The other side of that one. Well, I didn't bring the map. I've only seen one pony. I hope he's friendly. He looked friendly. He looked a bit... I don't know. He's trying to work me out. What am I doing here in his land? You can see the main road down there. That's the Taunton to Minehead Road. I'll be going back on the bus on that later. Yeah, so today, rather than think I've got to do too much, I'm just going to enjoy plodding around over this side. I think that'll be plenty for my knee. Used to be my lungs, wasn't it? Now it's my legs. Now it's my knee. <laughs> right, I'm going to turn off take some pictures of these trees. Over and out. Just picked up some deer, folks. One with antlers as well. They spotted me. They spotted me. few of them actually. Quite a few. They probably think I'm a flipping huntsman, don't they? Quite a few of them. I've got it on um, record. Oh, so I can... Um, These could be young stags. Yeah, he's got a bit of a horn nut. These are the young stags. Oh. Oh. I hope they don't attack me. Yeah, 
There they go. They've gone down further down the hill. They were the stags. I might pick them up again in a minute. They were sheltering. Some sort of structure here. I've got some a little bit of an image of them. They would have gone now, right down the bottom of my spot. I can still see them though. Just about. Bit of movement down there, behind those trees there. There's ponies down there, more ponies. Well, the stags seem to stay together, don't they? I wasn't expecting to see any. They were just here by the corner here. I go down through there. Look. See them? Hold on. They're just coming through the... A whole herd of stags. Five, ten, about twenty. It's not coming out clear because I've got it. I'm just keeping still. See, look, there's one. I reckon they're going to come up behind me and go up the other end of the field. Young stags. Look at that one. I'm keeping still. There's bigger ones. Look at that one. Oh, that's a big one. More. More. Loads of them. God, I reckon there must have been 50 stags. Oh no, still coming. Look at that. Right folks, I am. Um, that was very good managing to get it looks like a lookout post, isn't it? From the war. I was very lucky to have got those. There must have been a hundred, hundred stags. First of all, I only saw a sort of uh, five or six to start with. And then they all started to go in procession across that field where Paradise Coombe is, or equivalent to Paradise Coombe if it ain't Paradise Coombe. God, that was so good. Now just imagine, if I hadn't decided to go and wander there, I wouldn't have seen them. I didn't get loads of footage, but I got a bit. Hopefully it turned out all right. Yeah, they were all resting on the in this field. But his sheep gave it away, though, didn't they? Sheep did. Yeah, I don't know where they go now. I reckon they're just hiding in that coom. They'll be right in that coom now, all of them. Yeah. They're not coming up behind me, so I thought they might just come and do a circle around in here. They're not, no. Right, well, I'm going to make my way over to that pillar box, and I'm going to stop there and have a drink of water. And I'm going to have my cheese and tomato there. Yeah, I mean, I could have 
not bothered coming here. It's only because my knee's playing up a bit. I've decided to take a quieter walk today over here and have a look in places I haven't really explored above Bicknoller. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm not rushing. I know I've only got to go down there to get my bus. But that was way very rewarding. I'd seen loads of does, and I thought, I wonder where all the stags are. hundred young and old ones down here by the big trees. Yeah, loads of them, because they were all up round here, and they must have been all the way down as well. And they just took off. They smelt a human. Smelt a human like me. Oh, little lambs. Running to the mamas. Look at that, isn't that lovely? Isn't that a lovely scene, you know? A little lamb with his mama. Isn't that a lovely, lovely scene? Look. Lovely, lovely, lovely lamb. Like I said, I wouldn't have wanted to get too close because they could have turned on me. I mean, a hundred stacks. They all look really healthy. I'm just going to stop here, folks. Have water, tomato. A sort of dip thing I've got with cheese. Then I'm going to head back around. I don't know if I'm going to go over there. I might go over there as well. So it's a bit of exploring. I haven't decided yet. But this is where all the deer were. There's probably loads and loads of ticks here, you know. It's probably very dodgy to be anywhere over there or even here. Dear Tex. <sighs> Over and out.